Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your head designer. In this video tutorial, we are going to be modeling a flowing staircase by a design firm in Mexico. I will try to pronounce the name, but I'm afraid I will butcher it. I've already set out my dimensions and parameters for the staircase. The treads will be 300 millimeters and the risers will be 170 millimeters. And the height for the floor to floor is 2.55 meters. And I will make sure the distance from the ground floor to the first floor is proper. I will start with the wall. It really doesn't matter what the thickness of the wall is. What matters is the placement of the walls. For the steps themselves, we are going to be using a shell tool. The shell tool is one of the most powerful tools in ArchiCAD, so thank God for the shell tool. Firstly, I set my pens. The thickness will be 50 millimeters. The structure will be timber. Origin height is zero. Lastly, set your layer. And make sure the construction method is set to detailed. The extrusion will be 300 millimeters, which is the same as the thread sizes. Select the shell tool and flip it to the inside if it shows on the outside by clicking the letter P, pushing P. To make the corner smooth, Select one of the edges and select the filler or chamfer to option. Set the radius to 100 millimeters and click enter. Now just drag a copy for the other floor steps and you can easily align the starting points. Now the difficult part of the flowing steps themselves. You either draw them and use the curve edge selection to make the steps flow at the corners. One other method which can save you time is while having the shell tool active, you can use the magic wand by simply holding down the spacebar key, but you must make sure that the lines were drawn using the polyline tool so that it's easy to find the path. Once the magic wand finds the right path, left click on the mouse and select the extrusion to 300 millimeters for the treads and so on and so forth. The last one is straight so that's easy. I will copy and paste them to the ground floor. In 3D, we can see the walls and steps made. Firstly, I will change the surface material for the walls. In floor plan, select the steps and align them to the start of the staircase. Rotate the steps by using the vertical plane. Click it multiple times until you find the right rotation plane. Deselect the lowest step and drag the selected ones by 300 millimeters. And you can continue with the sequence until you have no selected steps. The flat step is actually the landing, so go ahead and stretch that one. 
The staircase is actually done at this point and it looks really good. Now to create the environment, start with the floor slab, copy and paste it to the first floor. Punch a hole on the first floor slab, raise the wall to the next level. Place another floor slab on the second floor. Also change the floor slab surface materials. Lastly, I would like to add a window at the back of the staircase as a design feature. And there you have it folks, we are done with this flowing staircase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Once again, do like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every week. Love you guys, God bless you and goodbye. I'm sorry.